Hi and Assalamualaikum uh, On previous video, I have shown you how to uh, install the required software for uh, Dev 3D source code compilation Now we moving on to the part 2 which is a uh, source code compilation uh, There are 4 steps that we will go through together so the first step, uh, so we go first on the first step, um, da download the source code using SVN. So uh, on previous video, uh, I have shown you how to install the Tortoise SVN. So we, we were using the Tortoise SVN to, uh, in order to download the source code. So first thing you must do is uh, register the uh, my data rest uh, account to in order to get the source code uh, dev 3d so after you have uh, uh, register so you just scroll down at the source code section download the source code section so uh, you can see the link of the source code so in this case you uh, they show you the version of 9717 and uh, 961979. Uh, this is the latest version of Dev3D. So we just uh, copy the link address and then uh, so we use the uh, Tortoise SVN to uh, get the download uh, uh, to get the source code. So first thing you must do is uh, open any drive. Uh, any drive or any file to save the source code. In my case, I I use my D uh, D uh, drive. So to to do this, you need to go to the show more option, and then you can see the SVN checkout. If you uh, if you have installed the Tortoise SVN, you you can see the SVN checkout. So you click here. And then you paste the link here so uh, they will show you the URL that you has been copied and then this is the checkout directory so in this case I I changed my uh, five file name to dev3d so after you done this you just click OK And then you can see uh, uh, this uh, SVN software is downloading the source code from Dev uh, 3D source code, uh, Dev 3 server. So you just wait until it's complete. So in my case, I I I already download the source code. So we continue to compiling the source code. Okay, after you have downloaded the source code, you can see there is the file for the source code of Dev3D. You just click, double click here, and then uh, you click on SRC file. Okay, on SRC file, you just scroll down until you found uh, prepare underscore sln.py. So in order to open this file, you just need to uh, click on the uh, search uh, search bar and then you you type cmd okay after you type cmd you just click enter and then it will uh, it will execute the common prompt of uh, microsoft common prompt so in order to uh, to run this uh, file you need to have the Python. So in previous video, we have uh, I have shown you how to install the Python. So we just call Python from this common prompt. So you just click Python space and then the name of this file prepare underscore sln sln.py. So after this, you just click enter. And then we show you 
uh, the preparation of compiler uh, compiles uh, file. So we have download the Visual Studio of uh, 2019. So we click here, and then uh, on default we uh, on Windows default we use Net Framework for 4.6, and then uh, I have shown on your uh, on previous video we have in, uh, installed the Intel One API HPC 2021. So we select the i4 21. This is the latest uh this is, this is uh the version that we installed on previous video so uh on cmake configuration you just select all build full or oss3 so after that you just click apply and then uh this uh python we will uh, prepare the source code uh compile file so so uh this comp uh this preparation has been complete so we continue to uh source as uh, to compile the source code we just uh, close this uh window and then after that uh after the we click the uh we run the prepare uh underscore sn dot py so you can see that uh there is file dev 3d underscore open asset land so you just double click here and then it's automatically uh, open the visual studio so uh you just uh, need to wait for several minutes to load the project so it will pass the file uh, you just wait until it uh, it shows here ready so as you can see, uh, the Visual Studio uh, still passing the file. So you just wait for several minutes until it tells you uh, ready for compile. So wait for several minutes. Okay, uh, so uh, the passing file is complete. So it is ready to compile, uh, to, to build the uh, source code. So in order to build the source code, you need to, uh, the first thing you need to do is change this uh, solution manager a uh, solution configuration into release and then uh, solution platform change into x64 okay after that we are ready to compile the source code so uh, what you need to do is click on build uh, bar a uh, build bar and then you click the build solution okay build and then compile compiling uh, the, uh, the source code compile is start so uh, you need to wait until about 20 minutes to 30 minutes uh, so uh, uh, why you waiting uh, the source code to complete uh, you need also to check the error list in case uh, there is error in uh, compiling the source code so in case you have the error that uh, occurred in your uh, source code compilation you need to check whether uh, your visual studio have this uh, module or not so if you uh, if you uh, miss the one module in one uh, one module in uh, visual studio you you may get uh, the error in uh, source code compilation. So make sure you uh, take note on this module before installing the Visual Studio 2019. So you can uh, uh, you can uh, uh, you can uh, see my uh, previous video on how to install this module in your Visual Studio 2019. Okay, so uh, the compilation of source code is complete. So we have see uh, we can see that uh, seven one succeeded and zero failed. So uh, to show the error list, you just click the error list and then it show that uh, we have uh, zero error during the compilation. So we have successfully uh, compiled the uh, Dev three D source code. So 
uh, how to check whether our source code is working or not. So first thing you must do is uh, open the source code file that you have been download using SVN. And then there is file uh, named examples. And then you double click here. And then uh, you click uh, uh, domain decomposition. And then uh, to run the uh, simulation using Dev3D, we have uh, run.bat file. So you click here to, to check whether the uh, simulate uh, uh, the calculation of uh, modeling is uh, run or not. So double click here. Then you just you can see that uh, Dev 3D is running. So we have concluded that the uh, our source code is working uh, and ready for the uh, to run the project. So okay, uh, that's that's all from me uh, in this video. So uh, on next video, I will show you how to install the Dev 3D GUI uh, software. Dev 3D GUI is uh, consists of uh, pre and post processing uh, a software. Uh, for example, uh, grid generation, uh, bathymetry, uh, interpolation between grid. And also we have uh, the post processing also. So I will show you on the next video. So that's all from me. Thank you very much for your uh, for your time.